everybody it's me wild man beats here and this is gonna be episode eight of call of duty black ops cold war and last episode we infiltrate the Ublanka building the capital the headquarters of the kgb to get our information we need and we did it successfully now we've got the list of the sleeper cell agents and we've got one in particular that looks like our main target that uh perseus is gonna use or activate next so we're gonna try to get to them before perseus can so thank you for coming to watch this video i hope you enjoy and otherwise let's get into it it's about time been waiting for your call they caused a hell of a mess in moscow was it worth it adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names despite himself he's got balls i'll give him that bell did well seemingly but i think that team is getting too comfortable they're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenlight. Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus. still think it's cool that they threw the Kyiv into the last mission. I didn't expect this to be tied in with Modern Warfare, but I guess that kind of confirms that they're in the same universe, I guess, you know? I guess it makes some sense. This oh, is it. We go. The recent movements of Theodore Hastings has led us here. Cuba right in our backyard. A vacant government facility in the Cuban countryside has become a hub of activity for Perseus, and the likely location of the stolen nuke. No doubt Castro allowed it. 20 bucks to anyone who can bring him down before me. Who? Castro or Perseus? Whoever. We are not gonna let him move this nuke inside the States. It's time to oh, take down Mason. Perseus once and for all. Team? Wrap up any unfinished business. Once we strike, there's no turning back. Wait, so is this supposed to be the final mission? Oh. Woods. Don't get any bright ideas over there. Yeah, you've got my sure as shit guaranteed. Ready? Let's talk. You look ready. Yeah. Check this out. Where are they going? to say March 11th unusually long submersion period this morning perhaps exhaustion sticking with the usual routine despite A's insistence framework seems reasonably intact considering the circumstances long submersion period this morning perhaps exhaustion so March 12 lower dosage today it, it, a doesn't need to know health, mental, and physical is an ongoing priority whether he agrees or not. Can't hear anything they're saying. Oh, what do we have here? A year after his return to the U.S. in 1962, Oswald visited the Russian embassy in Mexico City as the CIA intercepted at least two phone calls between the Russian and Cuban embassies. During one call, Oswald himself was on the phone. Wait, so... Is that the... This thing? No. 
Six three. Woods here. Let's see, two two six three. That would give me only four digits, though. Two two six three. One, two, 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 six, three. Wait, where did one one come from? I was kind of I, I, I thought it would be like one of these three numbers for the first two digits, but I think there's supposed to be a Better way of me figuring that one out <laughs> Oops, ah, whatever we're in here now But I don't know, this is just an engine. I I don't really know what that stuff is. Oh, these are like bombs. Okay. Air compressor, an engine that's wired up, car bombs and shit. Like uh Oh, oh. Okay, there's a computer. Let's see what's on it. Home A Mason. This is Alex Mason's computer? Wait, what? Hello? Unknown command. Help. Displays this help information. Cleared the display. Changes the current directory. Displays the contents of the current directory. Prints the contents of a file. Exits the current login session. Starts a new login session on the remote. On a Who? A Mason. Oh, oops. Uh, uh, D D something. C D ah. Uh. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. <laughs> Should I try the game? Oh, you can play all of the games in here. Interesting. Huh. Whatever. Maybe that computer is supposed to be for like hacks or something. Uh, anything new on here? Electronic mail. Oh, we got a lot of new stuff. To Sims, I under, I'm leaving Frankfurt and coming your way. I understand your concern, but keep the temperature down. Spread playing more in person. For shielding members of your team from certain relevant details. See you soon, H. Okay, this is from Black for Adler. Confidential. Adler, I haven't spoken to Udson yet about the Yemen Tau results, but be advised that Perseus 
access the list of Nikita Dragovich's sleeper agents, then deleted them, advised you and Bell use Hudson's acid and Lubyanka to get inside and acquire a copy of that list. Hudson will resist, so get a head start. Okay, nothing special there. Uh, hardball. Visit. From hardball to E9. You are making a joke right now? There is not time to prepare for this. After Yamantau, there is more tension than usual here. I have overheard doubts about Perseus and on top of that, suspicious suspicion of a mole in the building. Please be sure of this, Hudson. That must have been Belikov. And then this is from Commander Black again. Still watching the other agents, but nothing unusual. Appear to be asleep. Hastings, the only one we believe to be activated. Receiving encrypted orders from an unknown source. He also tried to contact an agent whom we believe to be Robert Aldrich. Hudson, contact me when the team reaches Cuba. Okay. EGB archives. Doesn't look like anything new. And oh, wait. Sleeper agent. Right. Oh, we do know more about that. In the Emmental. <laughs> Weapons of mass destruction and weaponized Nova 6 gas. Dragovich. I think we already saw all, this, all these. Profiles. I think we looked at all the profiles already. Oh, I see. So Hastings went all the way down. How did we let him get so far? Why did we allow him to? Oh, because we want to use him to find Perseus. Gotcha. I still don't like this room. It just doesn't feel right. <laughs> that side of the room scares me. Like, I don't even want to go over there. Oh, what's this? It keeps saying use, but it doesn't do anything. I don't know. Whatever. We'll talk to them later, because first there's like some other missions. Apparently I didn't get the, oh yeah, extra evidence there. Let's do Red Circus. MI6 has spent the last year tracking a group of embedded Soviet agents within multiple European governments. These agents could be strategically positioned to set up a larger Soviet plan for Europe. During a recent operation, we acquired information about this group's structure. There are three unidentified key agents leading it, and their handler is the Soviet Major Vadim Rudnik, a name previously connected to Perseus. We have Rudnik's position and can move on it. But if we don't first identify his three lead agents, we risk losing our chance to take all of the embedded agents down. Check out our list of suspects here. Special evidence you find on missions will help identify the three lead agents. I'd advise figuring out who they are before going after Rudnik. Oh, well, unfortunately, I'm missing some evidence. So we're going to say screw that and let's go. <laughs> What? Oh, I have to. Oh, I have to choose. She looks sus. This guy too. Huh. 
She's the oldest person of the whole group. Even though this guy looks kind of old, this guy too. This guy's young, actually. This guy is really old, but he doesn't look that old. I wonder if there's a way I can actually... That ledger from Krause's apartment might hold some clues to the lead agent identities. Oh. Seems Krause was a middleman to funnel money for them. Bearded lady paid 15k. And she's Danish. Oh, okay. This is the bearded lady. Because Copenhagen, Denmark, in uh, December 4th of 80. Double check that. December, yep, 80. Strongman paid 7K in Barcelona, Spain. Barcelona. This guy, January 9th. And then juggler loan 12k east berlin germany the juggler in east berlin these were both in east berlin either one could be a juggler this one was in east berlin she's old though there's no way she's a juggler right uh so it's between these two. He looks like a juggler. But let's double check the date. 91680. 91680. Now what about the cassette? Sounds like a partial report to Moscow on lead agent activities. This should help us narrow down the list <gasps> of suspects. Juggler's a lady. The last report from Bearded Lady indicates a vote in Parliament is happening soon. He believes he has enough influence to convince others to side with him. Strongman is concerned he's been monitored. Suggest KGB run interference for him. Juggler is worried she may lose her next election. Recommends active measures against her opponents. Oh, she's not actually a juggler. That's just the name they have for her. Recommends active measures against her opponents may lose her next election. So it's not him, it's either her or her. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's the old lady. Cause she came back to Germany again. Huh. Let's do it. I know I got two out of three. I'm sure. Okay. Woods and Mason are going to take point in this. Apparently, Rudnik is lying low in a remote Soviet base in the mountains of Uzbekistan. Not remote enough. We're going to land our boys nearby and pay him a little visit. Let's cut this Perseus sucker down to silence. Let's do it. I got the right one for that that last for juggler. That was, Music better be in that base if we came all this fucking way. Command sounded confident. Once we blow the shit out of their radio tower and create a distraction, we'll find out. 
time for a little hide and seek. I guess they couldn't get the same voice actor as the old Alex Mason. All right. Kind of sucks, We're but. In position. Roger that. There's an airmail package ready for delivery. Just need an address. Go ahead and mark the radio tower for us. Basically, towers up above the far ridge. Binoculars. Coordinates coming your way. Roger. The check is in the mail. See me already. Oh, that's a snowmobile. Wait, did I not search this place? Building clear. Rudnick isn't here. Go on and move to the next building. All right.
We can do this. Got Rudnick. We need kill confirmation. Oh, okay. Kill confirmed. <laughs> we got the pick to prove it. Maybe next time we can draw pictures for them too. Nice work. Evac chopper inbound. Pop some smoke to mark your location. What? What's this? All for extra. Let me fill on ammo. Smoke out. Chopper's just a few minutes out. Going to need. Look, it's an asshole parade. 
Did I get the right ones though? Will I know now? Okay. So this is the next mission. They made it sound like the last one too, which is weird. It feels like there weren't that many missions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess that'd be nine. That's about normal for Call of Duty. But I don't know. I just feel like I didn't get to play as much in this Call of Duty as past ones. Well, let's talk to these people. Look alive. It's Adler's protege. Well, you don't like me? You seem calm, considering the gravity of this, the mission. Yeah, well, you just snuck into the KGB with Adler, hacked their database, and got out in one piece. And I'll be going in with my boy here. If I were Perseus, I'd be running for the hills. And I'd be calling in a mortar strike on that hill. Okay. Feels like this Perseus mission began a lifetime ago. No, it doesn't. It feels like it just started. <laughs> yeah, for Adler, it's a culmination of three decades of meticulous tracking. You'll probably be extra pissy on this mission. I advise you to stay focused and drop the nostalgia. He doesn't sound like Alex Mason. This is for Sims and Adler and for me. I hope we have the manpower. Look, you better buck up, buddy. Adler's gonna want you more committed than a grenade without its pin. <laughs> See, am I wrong in thinking like every one of Bell's answers just make him sound like a little bitch? Oh, I hope we have the manpower. <laughs> Were you hunting Perseus in Vietnam too? No, we were after a different spy in Quezon. <laughs> That's right. Our team was right next to Adler's when we touched down in Way City. That's also the first time I had the misfortune of meeting Hudson. <laughs> in all those years, nothing's changed. He still has the personality of a wet fucking blanket. Yeah, that kind of does sum him up. You guys are legends. It's an honor to serve with you too. Man, what a bitch. I hate these dialogue lines, man. <laughs> you hear that? We're fucking legends. Yeah, wherever we go, we bring the thunder. Man, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Yeah, see, you seem yeah. pretty unimpressed over in Fake Town, USA. Uh -huh. Or are you talking about Mason right now? As I live and breathe. Woods Hudson seem concerned about you. You got a point in saying that? You sound <laughs> concerned too. If you're trying to be friendly, this is the dumbest way to go about it. We're just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> you should be concerned. 
Is there history between you and Kasha? Oh, there's definitely Are you history. Right now? Don't get them started. Nah, 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 nah. Hold on, let me set the record straight. Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, Castro and I have some history between us. I had the opportunity to off the man, but our intel was flubbed. That's in a tidal wave of shit all the way up to DC. So if I find out that Perseus is in cahoots with Castro, and Hudson happens to find one of my bullets in Fidel's head, well, I say chalk it up to collateral damage. Huh. Kept it under five minutes. I was expecting a diatribe. Later. Yep. Later, Bell. Man, I hate these dialogues. They just don't seem right, you know? Are they still in there talking? Jesus. Where did Sims and other guy go? So can't go down here, can I? Hold on. Make it quick. I'm busy. Shut up, bitch. Shouldn't we have a larger strike team? Do I even want to ask? Do I even want to do that? Man, I'll say the first one. Infiltrating Lubyanka went well. Indeed it did. Our insider delivered in a big way. As for you, the baseline expectation around here is to surpass every expectation. So from the bottom of my ass, welcome to the team. What if we find a live nuke in Cuba? Plan A is Agent Azalea. We didn't pick Lazar for his charisma. He's an expert in bomb defusal. If it's live and he can't disarm it, you're still gonna get that nuke out of there. Bring a change of pants. Are you concerned about Woods on this mission? I'm not in the business of discussing my personal views on team members to subordinates. Anything else? Shouldn't we have a larger strike Negative. team? Even at this size, Perseus could catch our scent on the wind and try to relocate. In this scenario, less is more. With a nuclear war at stake, our intel better be solid. It's as good as it's gonna get. The intelligence community has spent years trying to track Perseus to a concrete location. This guy lives between the lines of recorded history. Nothing would put a bigger smile on my face than you personally putting him down. The Thanks. projector's in the back corner if you need to go over any details from the briefing. So where were we? Oh, speak to the team on each safe house visit? I got an achievement. Okay. Whatever. Um, so nothing else left to do but do the mission. Which we will do in the next episode. Because that's going to do it for episode 8 of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. So thank you for subscribing and hitting that bell button. And as always, have a great day.